Somewhere on some fertile acre, the plow knifes through soil that abounds in promise. There's definitely some concerns that by searching for elite varieties um, in whatever system you're talking about, you tend to homogenize the landscape and you have potentially one elite variety that something could come along and knock out. Um, I think to some extent that's the price you pay for looking for high average productivity is you do open yourself to that possibility, but you can reduce the, the risks by doing a couple of basic things. One is, is through good agronomy and good rotation and good um, planning in terms of making sure not everybody is actually growing the single crop for the, in, every year for the entire landscape. I mean, that is setting yourself up for real disaster. The other you know, very important part of resilience in my mind is having a very active and alert research system that can identify threats, um, develop solutions. It doesn't really make the news, but you can see that happening in different regions all the time. And for example, with wheat, there's big concerns about evolving um, rust. They do, in fact, find every now and then that there's a new rust that most of the varieties being grown are resistant to. But there's a system in place to then try to find that resistance in some variety and then put that resistance into the existing varieties. And that entire system, I think, brings a resilience just uh, or potentially as effectively as mixing different varieties, some that have different potential than others. But it's not to say it's one or the other, it's just to say that I think sometimes people focus too much on one part of the risk without looking at the entire system and how it's functioning.